Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. I'm going to talk about Dragon Pill by Yoon Ha Lee. And this is a uh, um, Rick, Rick Rarian Presents Stories. This is a middle grade fantasy or sci fi slash sci fi story. And it is about a book. It is about a girl named, a uh, girl named Min. She's 13 years old and she kind of gets, gets with a, um, what do you call it? Soldier that comes to her house and tells her that her brother has, like, um, just suspected or, um, found, like, is, um, wanted for finding this dragon pearl, which is a, um, supernatural, um, or, which is an item that can destroy the will, or destroy plants. What? Okay, you don't have to watch it. So, um, she decides to, Min decides to go on a mission to rescue her brother, Jen. And, um, Jen is accused of leaving the station and going after these dragon pearls, I just mentioned. Um, and, um, it can destroy a plant. I already mentioned. Um, this book was okay. I didn't really like a lot of stuff in it, but I did like some of the stuff. Um, I didn't like, uh, Min as a character. I felt like she was very disrespectful to her parents by running, number one, running away from your parents' house and your, you know, under care by them is just kind of... I don't, I, I don't care if the, she's like a supernatural type creature, but she ran away. She's 13 years old, she, she yeah, like, yeah. Um, and, but I also grew to like her in the end. Like, I really grew to like the adventure and I guess, like, the idea. It's kind of like Dorothy, um, in, like, The Wizard of Oz, like, the first. Book. I didn't really like her, but then I grew to her as a character and stuff, you know. So yeah. Um this story was uh pretty good and it's the story is just really good. It does go into where she's on different types of ships and um the journey she takes. To get to um, Jen, Jen is just, it's great. Um, also, um, I also didn't like Captain Huan's character. I felt like his motives were very unclear, and there is a part that, um, that he tells where, um, not him, she tells, but where Min, Min goes through his stuff, and he's captain. Like, Min is, like, definitely lower. She's actually, um, covering up to, she's, like, being someone else instead of, um, herself. But she covers herself up, and she goes through his stuff, and basically finds out that he sent Jen on a mission for the Dragon Pearl, but, you know, I didn't know, I didn't feel like he was a bad guy. He got placed in as a bad guy, and I didn't really like that idea. Um, I did like learning about the supernatural creatures in the book. They actually tell about all these supernatural creatures, so there's, like, the... Um, there's like different kinds, like there's fox spirits, there's, um, and some of them change shape shift, some of them have magic, some of them. What? A baby seal and a wedding? Yeah. What? A baby seal and a wedding. 
Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, um. Yeah. So, um, I did like learning about the different supernatural creatures and some of the myths surrounding them. Now, there isn't a lot of myths. There is a lot of, um, like, my grandmother used to tell me this story, or my grandmother used to tell me about this, and this is what they do. So it's a lot of that, and not really a lot of myths. I would love to learn about more myths, because this is what you do. You take a myth, and you make the story. That's what you do. So, yeah. Uh, whew. and then the character Hemdell, um, there is a character who is, um, I guess, who uses different pronouns. He uses them, they, so they, when they, um, when they talk about him or the character Hemdell, um, they use that, that in the actual writing, so it's really interesting. I didn't really, like, pick it up at first, which is why sometimes I was like, oh, well, you know, this doesn't have, um, you know, people with disorders or people that are gay and, or straight or whatever, or non-binary, but that character was non-binary, uh, but I felt like it wasn't really, like, portrayed, like, like, I just felt like it, that's just a pronoun that I prefer, and I don't feel like it's, like, portrayed, it was necessarily, like, portrayed throughout the story, like, he, if he was, it wasn't there, and there it would be an impact to the story if he was, so yeah. Um, and, yeah, this book I rated a 3.8, or 3 stars on Goodreads, um, I rate, you know, I don't rate up, I rate down, but if it's a 4.1, it's going to be a 4 stars, if it's a 3.5, it's going to be 3 stars, so, 3 point anything, it's going to be 3 stars. Um, and I did like this book. But it just, I don't know, it was just, I think the story, the, the story was really fast, it was very fast paced, and it was almost like the ending also kind of was really quick. <laughs> I, I will say it is a quick read, but I will also say that that it's kind of a negative to it because it's a sci-fi and you want to like I want to learn about all these different even if it's like for Korean based, based mythology I also want to learn about the um, world and the different spaceships and the different planets and all this different kinds of stuff and I felt like I didn't really learn that much even with the mythology, I did learn about some of the um, supernatural creatures, which I did like in the thing, and we learned about the ghosts as well, which I thought was really interesting, but overall, I'm about done with, like, yeah, I don't really like ghost stories, or stories with ghosts. Now, I'm not saying, like, ghosts, as in, like, you can talk to ghosts, or you have that ability, but, like, the idea, like, the spot spirits can see ghosts, and they can be, like, the person as the real ghost. They could also be a table, which was hilarious in the beginning of the book, she turns into a table. She kind of messes up being a table, but they say, don't, don't be a table, like she said, uh, um, her grandmother said that don't be a table because you can't, like, if you stay in the table too long, you're just going to be a table. And I'm like, 
Yeah, tables of them that objects that people. I had to look it up to see if it was real. And actually, it is. It's the real belief that these boxes can turn into tables. Mary's like, hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Not very common. It's like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. It was a good book, but it wasn't, like, amazing, and it wasn't, like, really highly, I don't highly recommend it. Um, but if you are looking for a fast pace to read, this is yours, um, to pick it up. Um, and I got this, I think I bought it on Kindle, um, because I didn't want to go to the library and get it, which would be a lot of money. Yeah, whatever. Um, and yeah and that is it that is my review for dragon pearl uh comment down below hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and click the notification bell if you to make sure that you hear about my videos or um also comment down below um, tell me what book you recently read or any other inspired Korean or myth, uh, mythology books down below. I would love to hear your recommendations. And also, if you read the book and really enjoyed it, just shout me a like, um, hit me a thumbs up button, and I make videos every, well, now with the moving it's kind of sporadic but i do make videos every week so um just be on the lookout uh, because moving is chaotic um and yeah um and i hope you have a great rest of the day i'll see you in the next video and bye bye for now